What's up y'all? I'm Tom. This is like a math class. In this video, we're going to continue the chain rule by looking at different types of functions that you could use with the chain rule. Different types of functions that might have different inside values and different outside values. If you're not quite sure what I'm talking about with the chain rule, make sure you check out this video right here. And the other video that you may want to check before watching this is the derivative of some special cases and I've got that video linked up right here so that way you know what we're talking about as we go through some of these special derivatives. Let's get to it. All right, we're going to start by finding the derivative of y equals e to the 3x squared plus 5. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to find dy of dx and to do that we're going to find the derivative of the outside piece. Now when I think of what is the outside piece, I'm going to say I'm going to let u equal 3x squared plus 5. So in that case, this, this function would be e to the u. Now this, this is going inside this u, so this is my outside piece. So when I find the derivative of e to the u, that is just e to the u. And then when I want to find the derivative of the inside piece, I'm going to look at this right here. So what's the derivative of 3x squared plus 5? That is simply... 6x. And now our derivative is not looking at uh, u functions, so I have to put my 3x squared plus 5 back in the function, and I'm going to multiply that whole thing by 6x. Now, you know, my personal preference is to put the 6x in front. I think that just looks a little bit nicer. So I'm going to make the final answer be 6x times e to the 3x squared plus 5 power and that is equal to dy of dx, and that is the derivative of our first example. Our next example says differentiate the function g of x when you have all of this, the square root of cosine x. Now a lot of times what you're going to see is inside co cosine or sine, that's where you're going to have your inside piece and the function outside would be sine and cosine. But in this case, since uh, the, the cosine is just cosine x, the square root is now the outside piece, and the cosine x is the inside piece. So that would look like, if I rewrote this just to make it a little bit easier, cosine of x and all of that to the 1 half power. Now I'm going to start with the outside piece. So I'm going to look at this out here. And the derivative of that outside piece is going to be 1 half time, uh, times whatever is inside. And 1 half minus 1 is a negative 1 half. Now I still leave uh, that regular inside piece. I don't change that. So this cosine x is going to stay in the exact same spot. Nothing's going to happen with that. But now I've got to find the derivative of that cosine, right? This, this green piece is just the outside bit. Now I need to find the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine x. So now I've got the derivative of the outside piece and I've got the derivative of the inside piece. So I don't want to leave this as this kind of mess here. A lot of times we don't want to have negative exponents and I don't like having a negative over here. So I'm going to simplify all this into one fraction. So here I've got one half, which means I'm going to have a fraction of something over two. This whole thing is going into the denominator. So that's going to be the square root of cosine x in the denominator. And then I'm going to have this negative sine x. That's going to be what's up in the numerator. So my minus sine of x. And that is the derivative of g of x as we look at the derivative of the inside and derivative of the outside. And this example says find the derivative of uh, y with respect to x for the function ln x to the fourth plus 2x. So uh, the derivative of y with respect to x, let's see, the derivative of the outside piece, of this outside piece, the derivative of ln x is 1 over this piece here, which is what we call u, right? That's, that's basically our u function, uh, x to the fourth plus 2x. So we're going to have 1 over u times the derivative of the inside piece, which is going to be 4x cubed plus 2. So in the numerator, we're going to have 4x cubed plus 2. And in the denominator, we're going to have x to the fourth plus 2x, which is what our 
uh, u function is. That's our u function right up here. The that, so that is the derivative of this function. All right, I've got one more special, special example for you. Oh, you're going to love this. And this example is differentiating when we've got g of x equaling e to the sine of x squared. So wait a minute, what's going on here? This is usually inside, this is inside our sine function, and the sine function is inside our e function. So we actually have a chain rule inside a chain rule. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just kind of keep on talking about the derivative of the outside times the derivative of the inside, but we're just going to start inside all, we're going to start all the way out and we're going to keep on working in all the way. So the, uh, so G prime of X, the derivative, the derivative of this outside piece is just E to the X. It's E to all of this. So the derivative of the outside is simply that same thing e to the sine of x squared. Now the derivative of the inside, now here's our second chain rule because the derivative of this inside also has an outside. So now we're gonna take the derivative of the outside, the derivative of sine is cosine of x squared. So again, derivative of the outside piece, just cosine, leaving this inside piece. And then we're going to multiply that by the derivative of this inside piece here, which is 2x. So here, here we go. We had the derivative of the inside, the innermost side, the derivative of all of this, which basically is all of this, and then we had the derivative of the outside piece right here, which is this whole thing right there. So now when we simplify, it's not going to be very pretty when we simplify this, but we basically have g prime of x is equal to 2x. I like that first. Um, and then I think I will do times uh, e to the sine of x squared. I do that so it doesn't look like uh, e is getting mixed in with this. And then I'm going to multiply that by cosine of x squared. At least you can see that you can have a compounding of your chain rules or a chain rule within a chain rule. I don't think we'll go much further than that, but you could have a chain rule within a chain rule. I hope that was helpful. If it was, make sure you like the video. Give me a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one.